Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about avoiding large object heap in .NET. So you know the stack memory, you know the heap memory. Heap is where the objects and arrays are stored. And heap uh, is two part. There's a small object heap and large object heap. And to .NET standards, any object that is larger than 85 kilobytes is considered a large object and will be stored in large object heap. There is a lot that goes into cleaning up and managing the heap memory, but basically a small object heap is kind of like a stack memory. You have a next object pointer uh, that points to the next empty space in the heap memory. A small object heap memory is arranged. So if you remove any of these objects from your application, it will run a clean up and uh, stack everything uh, together and you always have a clear empty space and a clear allocated space in a small object heap. Large objects are stored in large object heap and as you can see these are scattered. They are not arranged or uh, ordered in any way. And when you introduce any new objects to this part of the memory, .NET will only look for the first empty space that could fit the required memory and will not move around these objects. Because these objects are so big, they are like elephants uh, in by garbage collection standards and checking them, moving them around takes time and uh, burns CPU cycles. So uh, .NET will leave them anywhere they are and won't touch them. Garbage collection has three generations. Gen 0 is for short-lived objects, Gen 1 is for medium-lived objects, and Gen 2 is for long-lived objects. And any object that is being stored in large object heap will be a long lived object and to clean that up you need a full GC or a gen 2 garbage collection. So if you are constantly introducing new large objects you are forcing .NET to run gen 2 mode garbage collection a lot more frequently and that will result in a uh, reduce of performance and could make your application to lag, pause, or even crash. So you want to avoid allocating memory into large object heap, but for different scenarios, you need to find different solutions. Uh, I have a demo application here for copying some files from one folder to another. Uh, for the first method, I am just going to read all bytes and write all bytes and uh, I'm going to run a profiler on this application and see how it works. So I have some fake photos that I use for testing and these photos are all artificially generated faces and the size of these files are usually more than 85 kilobytes, the number that we talked about earlier. And so when we are reading all the bytes, we are introducing an object or an RI that is larger than 85 kilobytes. And this data object will be allocated in large object heap memory. And uh, let's and test this and see how the profiling goes. Now let's run the profiler. I go to performance profiler, picking .NET counters and let's start. I need to press some key here to start the process. And as we are copying these files, let's check the LOH size and the number of times that Gen 2 garbage collection is happening. Let's wait for at least one minute and then we will check the results.
Here is the result. I'm just showing you the LOH and Gen2 uh, JC count. And as you can see, you have about 4 megabytes of LOH size. And Gen2 is happening every few seconds. At this point or this point, there is a bump. So you can see that there is one garbage collection that is happening. And that is a lot for a simple application that is just copying some files from one folder to another. So let's go back to our application and change the way we are copying the files. This time I'm using a streaming and for my stream I have a buffer of 16 kilobytes and uh, which is a lot less than 85 kilobytes and um, so we are allocating arrays of 16 kilobytes every time we are copying data from one folder to another and this way we are avoiding LOH allocations so let's save this one and run the profiler again just as before I ran the application for more than a whole minute and this is the result as you can see the LOH size is only 24 bytes and Gen2 never happened this is a flat line and the maximum number is zero so we avoided allocating memory into large object heap and as a result we never had to call for Gen2 garbage collection and when you compare these two results in here you have a 4 megabyte LOH size and you call Gen2 uh, up to a maximum of 24 times and uh, this is what we are looking for this application will work more smoothly and will we'll, uh, use less CPU cycles will crash uh, a lot less and in the web development scenarios uh, this is a perfect solution so by customizing the use of memory allocation and avoiding large objective I created a better application thanks for watching and see you soon